Christian doctrine of the Trinity is 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 um, is a false belief, and it is opposed by the Jewish scriptures. And the God that the Christians worship is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They will say, except for the modalists. But setting aside that, uh, the, the Christians will say all the time that they believe in one God, but in that one God there are three persons. There's, there's God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The church rightfully, in the 4th century, they had to essentially jettison the idea that the doctrine of the Trinity can be explained logically and can be understood. And the church, the church father described it as the greatest mystery. Judaism, there can be mysteries in the Torah, of course. There can't be contradiction in the teachings of the church that God came down as a man is impossible. The doctrine of the Trinity is a self-inflicted wound of the church. It is a doctrine that was developed. The, the Christian doctrine on the nature of God is, com is complete idolatry. I want to just say this because I'm going to get emails, a thousand emails from Christians who reject the Trinity, and there are such people. There are Unitarians, there are Christadelphians that utterly reject and see through this and recognize the fact that the doctrine of the Trinity was is a later invention. The word Trinity itself was invented. This is a highly developed doctrine. It's complete idolatry, and I just want to share one other point. It is the most odious idolatry. Christians believe that there is a God who is the Father who created the heavens and the earth. But in addition to God, they believe that Jesus is a separate person and he's full deity. That is a shutfus. That's a partnership. In Arabic, it's a shirk. It is the most odious form of idolatry. If someone worships Jesus as God and the Father as God, that's worse than bowing down to a statue, an idol of gold and silver. Worse. I, I debated a fellow. I'm not going to say his name. I don't like to do that. But I, I debated a fellow on television. Actually, it was a Christian TV show. Who He's, he's a, um, an, an apologist. And he admitted that, in fact, the doctrine of the Trinity appears nowhere in the Jewish scriptures. We don't have the doctrine of the Trinity. Daniel didn't worship the Trinity. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob didn't believe in the Trinity. There's nowhere where they prayed to the Trinity. It doesn't exist. Nothing. Um, the Christian concept of God is completely different than, than what it says in Tanakh. And in fact, that was the first question that I was asked by a pastor. He says, how could we uh, in any way um, bridge the gulf between the belief in the Trinity and real monotheism? I said, you can't. And he was shocked. One other point, and if you're a Christian, you know I'm telling the truth. Many Christian apologists admit, and I've seen this a thousand times, they will say that the vast majority of Christians don't even understand Dr. the Trinity. They almost invariably say that most Christians don't understand it. They think they know the Trinity, but actually...